Let's take a look at the roadmap and compare Windows 11 Pro and the GAC um, support to the new Windows 11 LTSC port support. So if you look at this roadmap, you'll see the four build versions of Windows 11. Your 21H2, 22H2, 23H2, and the brand new 24H2. So the Pro version, which falls under GAC, General Availability Channel, Service Channel, only receives 24 months of support per build version. So you're going to be using Windows Update to constantly update your system to a new build version in order to stay within that 24 month period. And you can see 21H2 is not even supported anymore. You have to be on 22H2 in order to get security patches and be supported. And that's going to run out in October of 2024. You will have to move to 23H2 before that day in order to continue to be supported. So as an OEM building an appliance, this is terrible. You would not want to have to constantly be updating your appliance. Going through all the tests, testing, and making sure that this new build and the new versions are going to run or going to work fine with your application. What you want is that bottom one, which is the brand new Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC. That's going to give you 20, sorry, it's based on build 24H2 and it's going to give you 10 years of support versus the 24 months that the Windows 11 Pro is. So if you're building an appliance, you need to be on IoT Enterprise LTSC and not using Windows 11 Pro.